brought to you by Elevate Chemistry. We are underway here on Hydrogen Radio, and the stopwatch is underway. Mope just played forward. Forgive me if you hear a few pauses, because I'm going to be updating Twitter. Mope has got a two-man wall. It is a touch far out, but it's always worth a shot of goal. Second minute, there's goals up. Goalwoods, Dan Lawson fits to clear. It drops in the air. It could be a shot in. Kazim completely misses his kick. And it's uh, smuggled clear by Mope. It's got a nearly opportunity. It's been a real there, a real opportunity for the high woman. Andrew Johnson's just seen if Trenary's going to give him enough of a gap to have a go himself. Anyway, Johnson strides up the ball. He shoots towards that far post. It bounces in front of Trenary. Gallard, he's one run over by Yates. To Ross Dale, he's to the His first touch is to come straight to the thigh of Donaldson. He can't get hold of the ball, he can't get the best challenge in the world. It's Michael Smith who crosses into the area and there's a shot of goal! It's a bit of rain, I hope it's rain, as uh, guys begin to go and hit over the top. But then we get the rhythm rolling on the left hand side. We will get there. Then there's Paul and Pete Nash, step away from from the defender up towards the byline inside the area, tries to cross, hooks one in, and there's a cross goal! And somehow squirmed clear by Chris Reed. 28 minutes on the clock is behind me and some shining upon Geisley's Nevermore pitch. Boosted forward, flipped on by Geisley towards Kazim, who looks like he's got in here, chance to shoot across goal! Well, past the far post. Smith has a good ball towards the middle post. And the ball looked down the line by Mort, he's looking at some of the spin away, he's going to get hold of this one, and now towards the corner flag, another one is back, crossed in by Thompson, good ball in, it's by Donaldson, good catch, Andrew Johnson's going to get shot away, steps inside and does shoot, that's a lovely block, that from Chippendale, come back out to Chris Reed, who shoots it on the post, gathered by the goalkeeper, Trenary, in behind the clouds, the temperature drops a couple of degrees, as Johnson looks to play that forward, and Thompson in behind, he looks to get there first, and he does, he tries to leave it for Fishburne. Fishburne goes back towards Sayer, who looks to shoot from distance. That was low and flat. That's blocked. It comes back out to He moves out the right. It doesn't win the header. That is a theme of his performances, is that he just doesn't kind of want those aerial challenges anyway. He comes on the left-hand side. He's with him. He's going to have to cross. Let's the byline. Turns. Send it in towards the area. There's a shot. And I don't know what that hit, but it's cleared away. And only just Lyson spread himself out that near post. It's not away. The danger is going to be dropped on the edge of the area. And Donaldson looks like he was fouled as he cleared there, and he doesn't. He is with them then from the throw in. Good challenge from Connor Thompson. That's better from the midfielder as he thunders it clear and gives Sam Fishburne something to chase and pull. Towards Gennaro, he's going to try and dance away from him. Plays a terrible ball out to Thompson on the halfway line. He's going to open goal the way, Matt. He shoots goal, but he's going to drift just past the post. Both sides are just starting to step it up the touch of the sea, but the game's taking up the second minute. Ball we'll play for it towards Fishburne, flicks it on the infield, and just can't get there for Donaldson. AGL picking it 25 yards out, shoots, shoots goal, wins. It's lead and gathered by uh, the goalkeeper, Trenary. Right eye, but it crosses 18 yard box to Yates. Fishburne's ran all day. Ball is terrible. Andrew Johnson's going to gallop onto it up towards the edge of the area, left side of the box. Looks to cut inside, twists one way, then the other gets into the area, looks to shoot. It's blocked behind for a corner ball. 80 minutes on the clock. Going to be in swing and deliver, delivery from Sayer. He's got Turner, Reed, Henderson to aim at. Swings it in. That's a better looking ball at the box. Chris Reed, hello! Oh, it's just over the top. Literally just over the top. It clearly hits the goalkeeper. They've given a goal, a goal kick to down. And he then loops it high in the end, up towards halfway. Fishburne tries to flick it on and does and does well. And Ben Rice is going to give chase. Chenery should clear. And he's completely missed his kick. His Ram's going to get there first. He's not. He goes behind for a, for a corner kick. And honestly, that ball literally jumped over the goalkeeper's foot. The divot in the pitch was accurate. Ball played in by Sayer towards the near post. A split goal! Oh, it's just over the top. It is another corner kick. Another Kieran's kind of ended up, so it must have gone out before it made its way down the line, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, Smith's going to loop this in towards the near post. It is lifting the most bit, but it's flipped on. It might be a chance here for guys who cries a penalty kick. Nothing doing. There's a volley over goal. Oh, referee's given a penalty kick. It was a ball that was looped in towards the near post. The second header wasn't won. And the defender collided with his man. It's Hartley. Oh, this is disastrous for the high run. They've conceded deep into stoppage time. It goes all the way back to the edge of the box. He's going to stride up to the ball and hit it right footed. He does. He goes goalwards. It's saved by Lawson. The shot comes in again. And the ball rebounded kindly. Geisley had scored an ill deserved winner deep into stoppage time here. And it ends. Surely now in defeat for the Highmen in the cruelest, and I mean cruelest possible way, they've deserved a point.
at least this afternoon. But when fortune is conspiring against you, it really is conspiring against you. And it ends 1-0 to Geisley, a late, late stoppage time penalty kick.